What's up everyone, coming at you with six NCAA basketball picks for Thursday, February 22nd. Growth on the channel has been amazing lately. We're diving into the research to bring you the best info possible. We're posting daily NCAA basketball videos, so hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on our college basketball and NBA videos. These picks are sponsored by StumpTheSpread.com, where you can get all of our best picks and predictions on every major sport. Don't forget to comment below with any questions, opinions, or bets on today's college basketball slate. I read and respond to every single comment. Now let's dive into our first game of the day, Liberty versus. Florida International. Liberty comes into this game fresh off a tough road loss to Sam Houston, and at 5-6 and six in the Conference USA, they aren't heading anywhere fast. The Flames are not a good rebounding team, but despite winning the Battle of the Boards and knocking down 10 threes, they still lost by 10 points to Sam Houston. This team plays reasonable defense, and their offense can have some good nights, but they don't have any star scores, and their road play has been some of the worst in college basketball. Florida International has dropped three straight and seven of their last eight overall as they sit in the absolute bottom of the conference. This team has not been having a good time, but they are finally getting back home, and that will be a much better look. All three of the Panthers' wins have come at home this season, and they even got a win at home against Sam Houston only a couple weeks ago. This squad can play solid defense at home, and they are in a good spot to put in maximum effort. Take Florida International plus nine playing at home in this one. The Panthers are solid playing at home, going six and five against the spread this season on their home court, but the real reason for this pick comes from Liberty, who is terrible against the spread on the road, going only one and seven against the spread this season when they're playing away from home. Next up, we've got Oakland headed to Robert Morris. Oakland comes into this game fresh off a blowout win over IUPUI and currently sit in the top spot in the horizon. The Golden Grizzlies have won three in a row and have to feel very good about how they responded to a weird overtime loss to North Kentucky a couple weeks ago. This team is solid on offense with Trey Townsend leading the way with his 16 points and three helpers per game. And while their defense isn't incredible, they did just hold an opponent to 59 points. The last time these two teams met, Oakland got an 87 to 72 win and were getting practice level wide open threes while holding things down on the boards. Robert Morris has dropped two in a row, losing at YSU and getting absolutely obliterated by Wright State. The Colonials are not great in general, and while they did keep things close against Green Bay a couple of weeks ago, they didn't get the win and couldn't find any defensive answers. Marquise Hastings is a solid scorer, putting up 15 points per game and over 50% shooting, but he hasn't been enough to get the squad over the top this season. We're taking Oakland minus six playing on the road where they're a very, very solid 10 and five against the spread and going against a team they have comfortably beaten already this season. The Golden Grizzlies also know their opponents are hot on their heels in the horizon, so they're gonna be motivated in this one. Next up, we've got Charleston headed to Delaware. Charleston comes into this game fresh off a win over William & Mary and have won five straight since losing at UNCW. The Cougars are sitting in first place in the CAA and will have to finish out the year strong if they want to maintain their spot, having dropped both games to UNC Wilmington this season. This team is excellent offensively despite not having a ton of points come from any one player on a nightly basis and their rebounding numbers are excellent ranking them among the top teams in the nation defense can be something of a problem but lately they've been a bit better than their season average Delaware has been putting up some of their best numbers this season lately, winning five of their last six overall. The Blue Hens have been making a living winning games against the weaker teams in the conference, but when they face the likes of UNC Wilmington and Drexel, things haven't gone so well. This squad can struggle on the boards, and while their defense is okay, they're going to have to muster up a lot more than their season average, taking on Charleston. Take Charleston, minus one and a half playing on the road in this one. The Cougars have been the better team all season long, and while they're only four or five and one against the spread playing on the road, that is a number that scares me off since they have the far better talent and team play and Delaware is only four and five against the spread at home. Next up, we got Troy taking on Arkansas. Troy comes in this game fresh off a blowout win over ULM and now have to go on the road to try and get some revenge on Arkansas State. This team has been an interesting one, hanging around the top part of the Sun Belt, but not quite getting over the top. The rebounding numbers this team can put up are pretty amazing, and their offense is solid, but we did not see them do well when they played against step-up competition. And they lost to Arkansas State only seven days ago. Troy only scored 71 points, and despite being at home, couldn't throw it in the ocean and got beaten down on the boards. Arkansas State has come on strong here towards the end of the season. They've won three in a row and five of six overall, but are still only middle of the pack in the conference. The Red Wolves are a very strong offensive squad with good rebounding. Their defense has been a little bit hit or miss this season. This squad doesn't have a specific go-to score, but that hasn't mattered as beating the hot hand seems to be working out most of the time. We're going to take Arkansas minus two at home where they have been a very, very good eight and three against the spread and are facing a team they beat convincingly 
only a week ago that is in a letdown spot coming off a blowout win. Next up, we got Washington heading to Arizona State. Washington comes in this game fresh off a tough two-point loss at home to Cal. This snapped a two-game winning streak. The Huskies are one of the best offensive teams in the NCAA, putting up 80.9 points per game behind the stellar play of Keon Brooks and his 20-plus points on over 50% shooting. Severe Wheeler does a great job running the offense, scoring 15 points and six assists per game. Defense has been a problem for Washington, and the rebounding is nothing special, but they can put the ball in the basket. We're a little bit worried about this being a look-ahead spot with number four Arizona coming up next, but they need to be locked in now to have any shot at the big dance. Arizona State just got absolutely blown out at number four Arizona, and they have not been having a good time in the Pac-12, dropping six of their last eight. This squad doesn't have much offensive punch or a go-to star, but regardless, you have to find a way to score more than their season average of only 69.6 points per game. Defense has clearly been a problem, and they are a team that can just give up like they did against Arizona, giving up 105 points. We're taking Washington minus 2.5 on the road in this one. The Huskies are in a bounce-back spot, fresh off a game they should have won, and are a solid 5-3 and three against the spread on the road. More importantly, Washington comfortably won in this matchup earlier in the season, blowing out Arizona State 85-67 to and making it look easy. Finally, we're on to one of our favorite games of the night. We've got Ohio State heading to Minnesota. Ohio State comes in this game fresh off a huge win, taking down number two, Purdue, 73 to 69. The Buckeyes have won two of their last three as they try and make a push for the NCAA tournament, but they have yet to really prove that they can do anything positive when playing on the road. Rebounding has been an issue for this team, and they got absolutely destroyed on the glass by Purdue. This team has a monster in Bruce Thornton, but that can be a problem if he has an off night. Things are going to deteriorate for this team really quick. Right now, Ohio State is in second to last place in the Big Ten, and that's that's going to be a tough hole to climb out of. Minnesota has had a better season than projected and come into this game fresh off a comfortable home win over Rutgers. This squad has really upped the offensive production thanks to the scoring of Dawson Garcia, but thanks even more to the stellar point guard play of Elijah Hawkins, who is averaging almost eight helpers per game. The Golden Gophers can struggle a bit on the boards, but they did just out-rebound Rutgers and had a good night shooting the ball from deep. Minnesota is middle of the pack in the Big Ten, but that's nothing to feel bad about. We're taking Minnesota minus four playing at home in this one. Ohio State did get the win in this matchup early in the season, but the Golden Gophers are a completely different team at this point and are a stunning 16-1 and against the spread when playing at home this season, going against an Ohio State team that is only 5-9-1 and against the spread playing on the road. That's all of our games for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below with any questions or comments about these picks or today's slate and check out stumpthespread.com to see all of our top plays. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. See you guys tomorrow for more NCAA basketball action.